smell fresh. I'm sorry, that sounded as corny as I thought it was going to. I don't have an intro. I'm not a professional YouTuber. Well, I don't have a good intro, but I do have good news. I got my first shipment of HelloFresh today. And if you don't know what that is, it is a company that sends you pre-made recipes with all the ingredients for you to have healthy meals with your family. This is what the box looks like. And I found it, I think I found it from OK Baby. I follow them on YouTube and one day Kira was making what looked like a really good meal and she offered her discount code for whoever used their code when they signed up. I think I got $35 off the price. It was $55 for a week of meals. It's actually three nights of meals for two people per night. You get to choose if you want for a full family. There is no option for just one person, but they did advise that if you are someone who lives alone or eats alone, that you can just use the leftovers for lunch the next day, which I thought was a great idea for those people. So I got my first shipment in today and you're about to take a look at it with me. I went ahead and opened it because I can't do one-handed cutting. When you first get your box, it's in this nice insulated box, um, has this nice insulated cooler material here. And each box is labeled with the meal that you have chosen online. I have chosen mozzarella crusted chicken, rapid stir fry beef and broccoli, and shawarma meatballs. I'm sure I mispronounced that, sorry. The paperwork that comes along with it is the recipes, and I'm talking about they do not leave anything out. This is something I didn't order, but it was an option for the week. And it, you get pictures and play-by-play -play instructions on how to cook these meals, which I find perfect. I love to cook, but it's nice to have something to fall back on, especially if you're using recipes that you've never used before. The next paperwork that you get is a cheat sheet with a bunch of other stuff in it. But in particular, it tells you, gives you like a little legend of things that you need to look out for, how to pause deliveries, things that you need to stock up on. The only things that they do not provide in these boxes are salt, pepper, sugar, olive oil, vegetable oil, and unsalted butter, which most people have all these things in their refrigerator anyway. There's a lot more things in this little guide, but I'm really impressed even with just opening it. And the funny thing is that the UPS guy who delivered it uses HelloFresh too. When he dropped it off, he said, we love this. We eat it all the time. As par for the course for me, when I opened the box, I spilled it all out on the floor. And if you have a dog that lives in your home and you understand when you first get home and haven't had the chance to vacuum, there's dog hair in the floor. Luckily, it was just a couple of potatoes and a tomato and some spices. However, I got to shake my own head at myself. I'm sure God does it on a daily basis for me. So quick tip, when you pull these out of the boxes, don't lift them up by this because they fall apart. They don't fall apart, but they open. Inside this little box are things that did not have to be frozen or under heavy um, cooling insulation. This is for the crusted mozzarella chicken. It has the all the seasonings, the cheese, the vegetables, and all this is for, like I said, two. So if you order for the family, there's going to be a lot more. I'm not going to open these. I think I'm going to do, I think I might do the stir fry tonight just because I'm feeling stir fry. Let's open it and see. And of course, this one won't open at all. All right. Oh, that looks so good. This is all the things you need. Vegetables, spices. They have seasoning in here for you. Fabulous. Fabulous. All right, let's look inside here. This was really neat. First of all, it gives you some kitchen facts that I did not know. Your knives are not created equal. Chef's knife, utility, slicing, meat cleaver, knife sharpener, and it tells you all about the knife. Interesting. I've been cooking for, I don't know, I'm 42. Um, oh, oh, dear Lord, smack me in the mouth. I am not 42 yet. I am 41. So I have been cooking with my mama since I was about 12. 
So you do the math. I've been cooking for that long. I, I never knew all that. It has some frozen ice packs on top of the meats and things that are especially delicate. That's awesome. Noodles. Beef. Beef. I'm loving it. Okay, guys. Let's get cooking. Okay, before we start cooking, I just have a little disclaimer. My house is old. And when I say old, I mean 1941, I think. Maybe 1946. I don't know. It's old. Way older than I am. Way older than most of my viewers, probably. So, the little lady who lived here died last year at 94. And she lived here in this house her entire life. Her parents built it. She moved off to college. And when she got back, lived married when she was 47 and then lived with her husband right down the road but lived with her parents on and off until they got so sick that she and her husband had to move back into this house and take care of them so it's a one family owner one owner home since 1941 or whatever year i told you it was made anyway my kitchen has not been updated since it was built decoratively it has thank goodness and i have done that myself but up until I moved in here, it has not. And I have not been able to afford to update my kitchen. So, when you sit the counters and the cabinets, you're going to think it's dirty. It's not. It's just stained. She took pretty good care of the house. It's just, it's old. Anyway, so, please don't judge about my little kitchen. It's my greatest need to save money and get this kitchen and I'm gonna do it folks anyway I changed my mind I think I'm gonna make the chicken because I just think that's gonna be best for my house tonight this is what the chicken looks like I have my ingredients oh, this is all it takes guys this and some olive oil which I have back there and some salt and pepper so it tells you step by step you have to be a moron not to be able to do this and look I'm not a moron and we're going to have a great supper tonight. Easy peasy, right? Step one, quarter and quarter. First, wash and dry all produce, which I did. Preheat oven to 425, which I'm doing at the moment. And then you cut potatoes into one half inch thick wedges like steak fries and core and quarter the tomatoes. Here's a quick tip that I like to do when I cook because I don't like to go back and forth from my cooking area to the garbage can, which is not that far away, but still, I like to throw a Walmart bag in my sink or attach it to one of my knobs on my cabinets and just throw all my trash in there. And that's what I started doing today too. So I have all that done and the next step is to toss the potatoes on one side of the foil lined baking sheet and put the tomatoes on the other side. Drizzle some olive oil and a pinch of salt and pepper. Do the same with the tomatoes. And then roast until they are crispy. And the tomatoes are soft for about 30 minutes. It says to toss about halfway through. So I'm gonna get that started. Done. Now because these take about 25 to 30 minutes to bake and the chicken only takes about 20, I'm gonna go ahead and put them in. I like for my food to be done at the same time. I don't like to wait because most of the time when you do that, your one of your entrees gets cold. Okay, and you can see that I have mine separated pretty well. I don't like for my food to touch, and it did not make me feel good and warm, fuzzy, happy thoughts about tomato sauce and tomato juice on my french fries. So, into the oven. Woo! Nice and warm. Alrighty. 25 to 30. We'll do 25 and then we'll see how things go. All right, next onto the chicken. And here's a little tip too, and I'm sure all you guys know this already, but if you're ever cooking with vegetables and meat, be sure to cut your vegetables before you cut your, cut your meat. You don't want the yuckiness from the meat to get on your vegetables. It can make you sick. Okay, step three is to make the panko crust. And that's to make the pan mix the panko. Now, don't even ask me what that is. I know it's some kind of breadcrumb. 
oregano, which I know what that is. It smells so fragrant too. And paprika. The funny thing is I have some of this stuff already in my cabinet, but you know, you use theirs. Makes it more special, I guess. And mozzarella, which is so good. You mix this, a drizzle of olive oil, not sure what they think a drizzle is, but we're going to do like this, okay, good, and a pinch of salt and pepper. I like pepper, and stir it up. Step three is to season the chicken breast all over with salt, pepper, and a drizzle of more olive oil and place them on a second baking sheet, which I already have ready. Be sure to wash your hands really well after dealing with this raw meat. All right, and this thing we go. I'm gonna wash my hands, move my garbage bag out of the way. Like I said, my house is old, so ignore my stained sink. It's actually pretty bright white when I bleach it, but I'm out of bleach. All right. Back in there. Now, we have to, step five, coat the chicken with a layer of the panko crust to each of the chicken breasts, gently pressing to adhere. Pile topping as high as possible, and we will have some left over. Feels really good and it smells really good too. Pressing gently. There's some getting on. That's okay, it's okay. All right, step five is complete. Step six, I mean, now I have to put this in the oven because they're supposed to cook for 20 minutes. Woo! Check out that steam. That is in the tomatoes look good, don't they? All right, now, in about five minutes, I'm going to have to flip the tomatoes and potatoes. So, I'll see you in a minute. In a bit. In a bit. Good grief, I can't talk. Okay, I've turned the potatoes and tomatoes, and I have the chicken going. It is going to be done in about, um, looks like 12 minutes. I'm going to let it go a little bit longer because probably about five minutes longer. While we're waiting, I want you to stop what you're doing, pause this video, whatever, and say a prayer for Laura Bivens. She's a girl here in Halls, and I told you about her a couple videos ago. She's got breast cancer, and she's 40 years old. Just turned 40 yesterday. There are a lot of people who are sick out there, and I know there are a lot of people who you want God to heal. She's got two little kids, and they need their mama. So right now, if you pray, and I hope that everyone does, please just stop right now and say a prayer for her. Ask God to heal her because she's, it's going to take some divine intervention for her to make it. Thanks, guys. Here we are, guys. It looks really good. Everything turned out just the way the book said it was going to. I, one thing I had to do was let the chicken cook about five more minutes than I had originally planned because when I cut into it, the chicken still looked a little pink and we don't want to get sick, do we? I'm so excited about this and I will let you know how good it tastes. Mm-mm, mm, it is good. It's really good. All jokes aside, it's really good. The chicken is really tender. The seasonings were perfect. The tomatoes are divine. And the, the fries, which that's what they, all they are. It's just some good old fries. So you know I have me some ketchup. <clears throat> oh, it's good. It's really good. I highly recommend it. If you want to try out HelloFresh, I have a promo code that you can use that will get you $40 off your first meal. Not the first meal. I misspoke. Your first shipment, which includes three meals. And so basically, you could feed your family for about 15 bucks for three nights. You cannot beat that with a stick. So 
So, look below in the description and to get my promo code. You get 40 bucks off and I get $20 off my next box. It's Shauna Carr and I will link it in the description below so you can spell it right. All right, guys. Have a... Uh, I knew I couldn't make it without messing up. I knew it. Bye.